Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and today I'm in Topeka, Topeka, Kansas, the capital city of Kansas, outside the pennant, the pennant, here doing their viral and undefeated El Gigante Burger Challenge. So this is an absolutely giant burger challenge. It's actually a peanut butter and jelly burger. Yes, yeah, so they have their peanut butter and jelly burger normally on the menu, but this is their giant version. So it features a three and a half pound beef patty, a big thing of fries, then you have their house-made Thai peanut butter sauce, house-made uh, blackberry jelly, and then a whole bunch of bacon. And then that was all made on this custom bun. Well, again, this is undefeated, but I think maybe we're gonna try two of them. I'm gonna see if they're allowed me to do two. So if we can, we're gonna try to double this challenge. It's gonna be upwards of about 10 pounds of food if we do, which is nuts. Um, the challenge is you have 30 minutes to complete it. Price is 50 bucks. And if you win or lose, you actually get a t-shirt. But anyway, that's pretty much the majority of the info. Um, this place is like a bowling alley, an arcade, and a restaurant. So let's head in, let's have some of these food. Give some more details here. And uh, like I said, guys, cool place. And we're really right by the state, the state capital. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, Big burger, unique burger challenge. Let's go eat some food. All right, everybody, so here we are with El Gigante times two, dos, dos, El Gigante. So guys, these are very, very, very large burgers. So each of these has three and a half pounds of meat. Yes, three and a half pounds of black Angus beef. Then we have 10 strips of bacon, which is apparently a pound of bacon on each. It is then smothered in their house-made jelly. Yes, they have like a berry jelly and then a Thai peanut sauce so this is a giant version of the uh, P P B and J burger I then have the one pound of fries eight ounces per challenge um, so yeah guys so again this is double the challenge this is a lot a lot a lot of food um, this is undefeated in a single version undefeated obviously in a double version because nobody should try to do two of these it's just too 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 much but I will say it smells awesome they also have a locally made bun, which looks really, really delicious. Um, so that's about that, guys. So like I said, uh, 30 minutes per challenge. So technically, we do have an hour. Um, but standardly, again, the meal is $50. So this would be $100 worth of burgers. And steaks are high, but hopefully we'll win some sweet shirts. And um, yeah, PB&J burgers. Definitely unique, but I like it. So uh, that's it. Let's get started here just momentarily. They have this place decked out like Star Wars. Like, literally, I got... Friggin' Luke and Leia here, which I gotta say, like the fact they do themes and stuff here, like this place is decked. They went all out. I'm a Star Wars fan. Let me know if you like Star Wars down below. That being said, I guess we could probably leave Luke and Leia there. They don't seem to be bothering us too much. Um, but yeah, I am definitely ready. Restaurant is ready. Perfect. So um, as it is undefeated, I guess I'll probably like finish the one, half the fries, the burger, and then we'll go to the second one. So we'll get like a hopefully a completion for the one and then for the two five oh man guys hold on sorry guys that is saucy peanut butter and jelly damn that is uh that is interesting on a burger but i'm excited it looks really good oh let me grab a bite all right let's say the count of five four three two one let's eat <laughs> beef Wow, sweet and salty, guys. That's a cool combo. I actually like the peanut butter and jelly. Really unique. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at the Pennant. Yes, the Pennant in Topeka, Kansas. Yes, Topeka, Kansas, which is actually the capital of Kansas. I learned something new that day. I would have thought it was Kansas City, but no, it is Topeka. And uh, this place is literally in smack in the beautiful little downtown-ish area. They have the Capitol building literally right behind it. And this place is so, so, so cool. So not only is it like an arcade and a bowling alley, but man, they are so, so innovative. Like they, it was around um, the Star Wars May the 4th time. And so they had this place decked out for Star Wars and man, they went all out, which was so cool. So I gotta say, awesome place. We're off to a really cool start even before we got to the food. So now let's talk about the food. Let me know down below if you've ever had peanut butter on a burger. This is great. Super, super good. Rich, sweet, salty. Woo-wee! 
Look at that. That is smothered. Lots of beef. No choice for sure. So of course we have the El Gigante, so the giant, and actually the giant times two. Um, at our time of attempt, it was undefeated, and uh, since though, we have had our friends Katina Eats Kilos and Randy Santel attempt it. Prior to my attempt, there had been a number of individuals try it, and no one, from my understanding, was even able to complete the sandwich. And of course, we're talking about half of what's in front of me. In front of me, we have two of the challenges. So each one of these had a three and a half pound burger patty and I gotta say it was massive so 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 massive um, this was not a burger patty which cooked down you know like half the size no this thing was massive and there's a whole pound of bacon yes on each of them a whole pound of bacon but I gotta say it was some really uh, high quality looking bacon and then all the peanut butter sauce the jelly like this was a super innovative burger a crazy burger and I gotta say Honestly, it was really good. It's quite the combination. Um, definitely a unique flavor, sweet and salty, but I really enjoyed it. It was good. I think we're coming on about three minutes in, or about three minutes. Really good, great combo. Keep on trucking. So with the 30 minute time limit, I would say this challenge is probably about like a high level beginner slash intermediate. Um, you know, it is quite a bit of food. Of course, when you double it, it becomes absolutely ridiculous i mean there's just so much meat there that definitely becomes a very expert level challenge um, and i would never recommend anybody at all trying to double this that is just insanity um, that being said even doing one of these is massive but if you do want to try it i mean hey it was a really cool spot um, the owners were great and honestly i'd even just go on by and grab myself like a normal burger there they have this variation of burger in a normal size as well as a lot of other different options man that blackberry or the jam on it is so unique but it's really good scratch kitchen by the way they make everything this is a place I really look forward to coming back because they had all my favorite arcade games like The Simpsons. Um, yes, if you let me know your favorite arcade game down below, but my favorite arcade game down below is probably The Simpsons. I grew up playing that um, when I used to go camping, but they had all the other favorites. I mean, you know, everything from like Mortal Kombat, Ninja Turtles, um, you know, pinball, they had it all. It was really cool and that rhymed. Um, but yeah, pretty much, I believe that's the majority of the uh, details um, you know a specialty nice locally made bun a uh, big huge quality beef patties loads of bacon house made uh, peanut butter sauce as well as the jam and uh, yeah that's pretty much that so like we said everybody um, technically then again they did give us uh, 60 minutes as it was 30 per challenge but nonetheless um, so yeah let's see if we can get the uh, you know approximately a hundred dollars worth of food for free see if we can get that sweet winning t-shirt and ultimately become the first to beat this undefeated challenge times two so with that let's tune on in and ultimately let us see what happens all right so i think we're about five minutes in get started on this bun half the fries and lots of bacon guys loads and loads of bacon Nice bread. It's like a PB and J sandwich. That's a bacon, jam, and peanut butter sandwich right there. Get rid of some of these fries. Solid french fry. Ketchup hatch.
right, I'd say that's half the fries. Half the fries? Half the fries? I think we're about eight minutes in. So, just this delicious looking bacon, peanut butter, and jelly sandwich. Would you try down below? Let me know. Wow! Woo! That is nuts. Totally calorie free too. I don't know guys, this could be uh, the next American classic. Thank you. I'm just saying, this could be a thing. Thank you. Somebody should try this after. <laughs> bake them, bake bake them. Almost. All right, um, we done that one there? I think just shy of what, 11 minutes, something like that? And what, seconds? Okay, yeah, so I think about 10, 10, 40 something. So, new record for the one. Big, big challenge, guys. There's a lot, a lot of beef. Really actually liked the bacon, peanut butter, and uh, jam or jelly combo. Really delicious. And shout out the fries, guys. I eat a lot of fries, these are really good. So, <coughs> excuse me. And compliments to the chef. Really, I mean it, great food. Round two, vamanos. Ah. This is, this is a lot of beef though, everybody. Like I said, you don't, you really don't need to do what I do. Come get yourself a normal sized burger here, but looking delicious. Mm. Nice and hot too. Woo. Ketchup plate. I think I'm gonna have to undo the belt, guys. Get a few extra horsepower here. Woo! Oh yeah, loosen that up a little bit. Oh. I'm using the force with Luke and Leia. That's what's up. They said the force was with me, now I feel good. I feel like a billion bucks! Woo! Beef! Well, you know what they say, do or do not, there is no try. Let me know if you know who quoted that, who said that. About 15 in, Woo, I'm definitely filling up guys. No shortage of food, that is for sure. Delicious, love that combo. Super unique sauces, but it's a lot of food, so we have to keep our heads down, keep this one going. Huge beef patty, that is for sure. Man, no shortage of beef. 
it is seven pounds of beef. Just comprehend that, seven pounds of beef alone. That is nuts. I see the light. I'm just kidding. It's lights coming in from the window. About 20 minutes in. Buns and fries and bacon. Bacon. And if you made it this point in the video, first off, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for not skipping ahead. Thank you for liking the video and thank you for subscribing. Uh, let me know you made it this far by commenting down below. Look, Luke's eyes are moving or look, Leia's eyes are moving. Or you could just simply say, look, the eyes on the posters or, you know, whatever you want to call it are moving. So again, thank you so much. And at that, I'll let you get back to the rest of the video. Hi everybody, a bit over 23, 23 something. Bacon, half a bun, fries. Get with these fries and enjoy that delicious bacon sandwich. Who would have thought? Bacon tasted great with peanut butter and jelly. It does taste good pretty much with everything, so. We got the sun tracking in, but coming on 25 minutes. Bacon and buns, baby. Bacon and buns. Bacon and buns. I don't know how I go there. Wow. Just look at that bacon. This is nuts. So much. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try to finish this up. Holy crap. Guys, this is just like, that's a pound of bacon. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you think? Can you, can you really ever have too much bacon? I don't know. I'm a little on the fence right now. That peanut butter and jelly though, fire. And we are finished. Thank you. All right, 
everybody. Well, finished up. I think it was probably just shy of 29 minutes. Is that correct? What do you have the exact time? What was it, sorry? A little over 28. All right, so somewhere between 20 and 29 minutes because of the exact time on screen. I gotta say, that was good. Heck of a challenge though, I tell you. That thing is giant, that is for sure. Especially when you do two of them. Again, don't do two of them, don't do two of them. But if you wanna come try it, you can. You don't even need advance notice. Um, that being said, I'd probably recommend you just coming in and enjoying one of the PB and J burgers by itself at a normal size. That was awesome. The combination of that bacon, that house-made jelly, that peanut butter sauce, super good, super rich, but savory, salty. It was really, really nice. Like I said, if you've never had peanut butter on a burger, it's pretty dang good. And this with that combo was very dang good. Um, but with that, everybody, that's pretty much it. I want to give a huge thanks to everybody here at the Pennant. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate you guys the support and watching. Thanks to everybody who came on out. And uh, we do get a shirt for completion. It says, Oh, El Gigante, the giant. Voila. And it says on it, challenge. What is it? El Gigante challenge, the pennant to be got. Sweet. And you get you have a shirt, win or lose, correct? Yep. Cool. So there you go, guys. We got, does the other one say loser on it, though? So the other one says failed, so there we go. So we got this one that we didn't fail, so awesome. T-shirt, not too bad. Uh, but yeah, guys, so sweet. Like I said, huge thanks to all the staff here. Really cool place. They have, like, again, this place right now decked out for Star Wars, which they've gone above and beyond. This is amazing. This is supposed to be Dagobah. Hence, like, you know, the uh, hanging thingy things. And if you look around, it's just super impressive. They have a whole arcade here, which is super cool. Pinball, all that stuff. Bowling alley downstairs. So yeah, guys, downtown Topeka is a happening spot. Super awesome. But uh, like I said, that's about that. Don't do what I do. So, of course, everybody, until next time, stay happy, have hungry, happy eating. And uh, I'm going to check this place out a little bit more. Until next time, have a lovely day. Super quick. Here's the Kansas State Capitol. What a beautiful building. It is uh, very much closed, so I'm not gonna pull in there, but talk about a gorgeous, huge building. Wow, awesome. And literally right next to the pennant.